What's going guys? Janos here and today in this video of Airflight, let's read out the story of First Angel A Sphinx. So let's try to actually see if she has anything to do with the Sphinx. Just cause she has a prefix called A over her name, uh, does she actually kind of sort of like uh, relate to the main Sphinx, okay? Uh, from the previous story, we came to know about the Sphinx. Uh, who was actually the queen of the king Prud uh, queen of Pr prudentia that is king augustine and then like she died with a rotten egg on her side so let's see like if there is something a uh, link is right out here well both seem to have wings let's see what's gonna actually tell out okay so let's go into the story guys so first angel a sphinx do not ask me why my poems mean i'm like what my poems mean sorry about that I'm just a dead poet from times past. The words that I write are dead. The songs that I sing are dead. Wow, that was a grammatical mistake right out there. The song I sang are dead, okay? My name is Anke Sinamun. Okay, at least we have the same writer out here, Anke Sinamun, okay? So, <laughs> maybe they are related. The lover of fools and shadows. Excerpt from Anke Sunamun's uh, tombstone, okay? Oh, I once met a lady in the ruin of a city, a slender figure robed in white and crowned in gold. But time had torn her robe at the seams and tattered its end, leaving the lady barely scraps of to, uh, to protect herself from the aching cold. You can easily see that like, it's actually not a fashion of her. <laughs> like, her, uh, you know, like the clothes actually got stripped away, like, what? Okay, she shouted like she was crying, like she was dying with a nervous shaking voice, she sang. When the flame died, these stars shined. Finally, it was our turn. Our turn to let loose the ship that will become our flesh and blood. Jesus? To let loose protectors that will herd the ship. Damn, that's really from Bible, eh? Go, my daughters, fly into that dark and dismal land and pave a path with your light. Shake off the ashes on the mountains and the fire. Cleave the rivers and the oceans to bring the hidden things to light. All things of the land bow down to me. I am the spear, the wrath. I am the claw and the tooth. Wow, <laughs> that's a pretty uh, poetic uh, description of oneself. Look into my eyes, you so-called great ones, and despair. But there was nothing in her. Nothing other than cold tears and eyes that lost their light. Blood, flesh, meaningless glory, and useless youth were all that wingless woman had been left with. What use do abstract tales of gods and heroes have when the world does not have poets? Anke Sunamun, guys. My name is Anke Sunamun, the lover of fools and shadows. A name that will be forgotten even by you someday. Oh well, now the name of Anke Sunamun is actually pretty much embedded in my brain, maybe. <laughs> but guys, well, uh, there's nothing much of really a very great description on a Sphinx. It seems like she is uh, like just a, uh, you know, like a woman uh, with a golden crown. And then like the, you know, like her robe that has been tattered and like pretty much torn out by the tides of time. Like what? <laughs> oh man, but she actually uh, packs a lot of punch. She is actually, uh, you know, like how to say this? Um, Proclaiming, proclaiming herself to be one of the really good in power. It says like, all things of the land bow down to me. I am the spear, the wrath, and the claw, and the tooth. Wow, that was a pretty poetic uh, description of oneself. And that's what she is right now. So let's see, I'm like, what's gonna happen? But uh, it's written by the same Anke Sunamun poet. Uh, that's why maybe she's also known as the Sphinx because of that one. Well, Sphinx actually means, I think, uh, the woman with exquisite beauty or something like that right <laughs> so that's the thing right out there or let's say the princess with the wings so 
maybe the sphinx and the sphinx are pretty much not related it's just like the way that they both had wings and they pretty much had uh, assumption of a form of an angel that's what that's why they are called the sphinx so i think there is not really that kind of you know like connection between them but thing is that like as they are pretty much uh, conceived uh, written by the same author anke sunamun uh, they came to have the same name so there we go we solved one mystery today <laughs> Oh well guys, uh, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. And see you guys in the next video.